So just to showcase it again, this is how our animations now stop. And this is what happens when the right foot is forward, and this happens when the left foot is forward. And we got two separate states depending. You can see that this is just two steps, this is like three steps, depending on the right foot or the left foot being forward. Okay guys, we started working uh, with state machines and we've made those state machines inside state machines to make uh, leaning, turning in place and other interesting transitions. So let's use the same methods to work with stop animations. Because normally what you would see uh, in any setup that anyone do is that you would just go from idle to a state called start and then from locomotion you would go to a state uh, called stop and you would then transition this way, transition this way, but you also have to be able to transition this way, and you would have to have to be able to transition this way. Like you can see, there's a lot of transitions, and if you add another state, like you would want to have jumping, you would have, you know, jumping from locomotion, jumping from idle, jumping from start, from stop, all of those. And we don't want that. So instead of that, we're going to use our state machines inside state machines like we did already. So when do we actually play start and stop animations? We play start animations when we start the locomotion and we play stop animations when we start the idle. So if we go into idle, we go into st uh, standing idle state machine, we want to actually make a new state and call it stop. And then from this stop state, we want to go into idle. And want to go automatically uh, inertialized in 0 0.2, let's say. So this is an animation that will hit only once and we're never going back to stop from idle. The only way that we can trigger it again is to uh, restart this entire state machine. Uh, and inside our st uh, state machine, uh, we can actually say that reinitialize on becoming relevant so when our animation starts blending in the state machine it will restart the state so it will uh, restart from here if we disable this thing uh, it will actually continue to run the state machine and it will remember the last state and once you restart the state machine he will start from the previous state that was active and check all the transitions from this state forward it will not re uh, it will not re-enter but we do want it to re-enter so we leave it at default so we want to re-enter stop and um, actually just to have a very uh, simple stop we just want to do uh, stop forward and want to walk not uh, run and let's see this animation left up Okay, and right up. Okay. Um, walk forward, stop. So let's see them all. Okay, I kind of like this one, so the right, right up. So we're going to just use the right up uh, in place animation here. And from it, we are automatically transitioning into idle and into turn in place. We compile, save, and we just hit play. And you can see that we started with the stop animation on entry of the map because it was reinitializing our state machine. But if we go now forward and stop, you actually play this animation like this but there's a terrible foot sliding right now right so uh, how can we do something about it we can go here and we can say that start position is not zero zero what we actually want is to start somewhere like here so let's say point three Play rate is 1 
and this is yeah initialization everything's fine Let's start Okay, we might want this blend to be a bit longer. So when we go back from locomotion to idle, let's say it's not point 0.2, let's point 0.1, I mean point 0.35. Play. Okay, it's not that excessive anymore. Okay, but let's say we want to actually pick foot that we are ending on. So this is already working real good. We have leaning, we got uh, turning place, and we got stop animations. So if you want to improve on uh, stop, you can either do a, a blend space that it's picking for one of those, or you can just do a blend by bool and uh, make a new variable that's saying left up, right up, and just pick one of those. And we can do a very fast um, IK based setup, let's say. Uh, so we can just get bone uh, let's okay so the way I want to do it is getting the owning character because we do need a component which is the mesh and we want between two sockets and we have distance and direction if we hit distance we got this and there's a lot of stuff that we need to do uh, so there are like two uh, bone names we want to say if they are in for example in our place that would be component space and that would be foot L and foot R and we want to remap range maybe let's print it out and see what happens so let's print string and let's see how it looks like for the duration of one frame. Okay. Hit play. Okay. And it gives us some value, which is I see consistent. But it's taking the distance between both legs uh, from one to another. So 29 is the distance between legs and it just increases and decreases we don't know if the leg is forward or uh, if it is not forward so instead of using this distance between two sockets we want to go two sockets uh, get rotation well, what, what was it called uh, Oh, get direction between sockets. Okay, so this is a much simple node. So let's say that our uh, is foot R and foot L, and we get some value, right? So if we print it out, uh, I know that this value will be something that we are looking for, like the X uh, on this vector that is going up and down into uh, positive and negative value but it is changing depending on our rotation so what we need to do is we need to unrotate vector um, unrotate vector instead of rotating vector because uh, this is already like a rotated vector because this is the direction between sockets so how to get our uh, rotation? Well, it's easy. We just need to type rotation. And we get this get previous rotation. And the thing is, this is not previous frame rotation. It is previous frame rotation only on the beginning of the parent uh, blueprint update animation. When this nodes finish, this one is being set to this frame's rotation. So you can use this variable directly. And now if I hit it here, compile save and hit play, we can see that X is consistently changing, doesn't matter what our rotation is. So now we can get uh, from here, we can split and we can get just the X value. Compile, save, play. 
okay and we in general know that if slow mo point two if our right leg is in front the value is minus in this setup so right front is a negative value okay right front is negative that's all we have to uh, know so if this is smaller than zero then create a variable called right front okay with just those simple few notes and now we can go into standing idle stop blend by bull right front true is right up and false will be also 0 0.3 but it will be left up in place animation and the switch between those two will be uh, let's say 0 0.5 0 0.5 now this value can change while we are stopping and this is not very good for us um, so we want to use this um, we want to calculate this variable that we are calculating only when we are not idle so we need to make a branch and say idle is f uh, false so while we are moving we want to calculate if our foot is uh, front or back but once we hit idle state, we want to stop calculating this and want to use the last previous known value that we have calculated. So now, if we hit play, and I am running and I will end up with my right foot forward, I will run this stop. And if my left foot is forward, I will use this stop. Okay, however, one last change inside this state of stop. I would even say that this it will even go as to 0.4 instead of 0.3 as the start. Okay, and play. okay so yeah right now we got two stop animations depending on our uh, foot location if the left is up front or the right is front and if we want to even improve the quality of those animations we could make the stop animations root motion and they could blend with non root motion animations as well So just to showcase it again, this is how our animations now stop. And this is what happens when the right foot is forward, and this happens when the left foot is forward. And we got two separate states depending. You can see that this is just two steps, this is like three steps, depending on the right foot or the left foot being forward. And everything runs on the same state machine as previously. Okay, thank you for listening and see you in the next episode.